yeah, I started dubbing so long ago. Uh, I did a little movie called Shark Tale. Mm -hmm. I did a little part before Shark Tale, though. I had a small part in um, Ice Age. Mm -hmm. But um, the hardest thing about dubbing is um, that you have to imagine everything. Yeah. There's no sets, no costumes, no makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, even the actors that you're supposed to be acting with are not there. There's someone there, but they're just doing an impersonation mm -hmm. of the actors. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot more left to the imagination mm -hmm. with dubbing. Mm -hmm. But I love it. I love it because uh, there's no rush. <laughs> when you're making a live action film, everything is a rush. Everything is, I'm sorry, Mr. Black, we don't have time to do another take. You can do like four, five takes maybe but then they really got to move on because everything is scheduled. Time is money. Mm -hmm. But on an animated film, it's very relaxed. You could spend hours on one line if you wanted to. And I'm very particular mm -hmm. about the way things feel and sound. And mm -hmm. I like to do a lot of takes. I like to take my time. So I actually prefer dub dubbing, uh, acting in a, in a recording studio. So I'm no stranger to the old-fashioned microphones, mm -hmm. but uh, I do vocal exercises because, you know, you have to do a lot more talking and, mm -hmm. and yelling and vocalizing in a, in a recording session than you do on the, on the set of a movie. Uh, so I do a lot of uh, exercises. I have some right now. Amos Ames, the amiable aeronaut, aided in an aerial enterprise at the age of 88. Some shun sunshine. Do you shun sunshine? Fine white wine vinegar with veal. I could do this for an hour. I have so many. And then there's also this. You can feel it vibrate. The back of the throat warms up the uh, throat. Fa la 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 I'd like to see Jackie Chan do that. Fa la 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 Jackie Chan is. You know, I still haven't met Jackie Chan. We've done three movies together. Where is Jackie Chan? I'm hoping to meet him on this trip. Angelina Jolie is amazing. She's a very charismatic actress, mm -hmm. and uh, she's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. She writes, she directs. Yeah. Uh, I was very impressed. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's at the UN and getting involved in politics. It's always like uh, above and beyond what you'd expect from a Hollywood actor. and. Um, I got to go over and celebrate uh, Easter Sunday. It's a holiday in the United States. And uh, she has kids and I have kids and we got our kids together. It was very nice. Well, he's still very immature. He's almost like a baby. I wish he would grow up already. Grow up, you little boy. But he's very sweet and he's very cute. He's very lovable. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, he needs to take more responsibility for himself in, in part three. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he needs to become a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and the stakes are very high. If he can't teach this village of pandas, Kung Fu, the whole world will, will be destroyed. So, um, the pressure's on, and he's very insecure. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the big lesson in this movie, is uh, what does it mean to be a teacher, and how do you teach people effectively? H how can you become a great teacher? What are great teachers? What makes a great teacher? You know, And that's uh, kind of the interesting, cool thing about the movie, and I have a lot of cool projects coming up. I have a children's show that I'm really excited about called Goon Holler that I'm developing. And, uh, but it's also got 
punk rock music. So it's for kids and their parents. Well, that's one of the big uh, reveals, is that Poe's biological father is alive. Mm -hmm. That's a huge revelation mm -hmm. to Poe, because he thought he was the last panda on Earth. Mm -hmm. So this is huge news, and he's overjoyed. And not only that, there's a whole village of pandas. And uh, this is his first experience, you know, w with, other, with other creatures of his own kind. So uh, that's a, a big part of the movie is his integration into this n new society and uh, the way they welcome him and the way they teach him who he is and how to be a panda. Because even though he is a panda, he doesn't really know the panda's way, the, the ways of the panda. He's just, he's, he's just a panda by nature, but not by nurture.